Hi everyone, it's time for Fan Mail Friday, my favorite time of the week. It's Good Friday, uh, and however you choose to celebrate uh, the holidays that are now upon us, I, I wish you much happiness uh, to you and yours. Uh, I have a table full of bunnies, rabbits, chocolate, kitty cats, balloons. It's amazing. It's really amazing, and it's taken me a good um, couple of hours to get through all this beautiful mail. So thank you for everyone that sent something. I'm going to kick, kick it off with Anita in California, just because she's been with me, I think, since the very beginning of fan mail. And I'm going to show you first her China Cabinet card. Gorgeous. This was something she did for a 91-year-old friend that is in a care home and loved the card. And then she made me this beautiful thing. You see what's, uh, it's got a little glitter and fun on the inside. And then just look at this one. Uh, it's going to give you a teacup full of tulips and the bunny. Anita, a laugh. I laugh when I read that you said that was your first and last uh, teacup card, that it did require or maybe required a glass of wine. <laughs> oh, I think that's really fun. I, I wish I was there to help you. And look, she even sent me her very first slimline card, and it matches my jacket, Anita. So beautiful. Lots and lots of fun to hear from you and hear that uh, how well you're doing. So thank you. Now, it wouldn't be a holiday without our friend Doris, who makes me white chocolate uh, confections for all holidays pretty little uh, bunny card. She actually sent two cards this year. This one, Doris, had a little um, mishap in the mail, but adorable that you sent that uh, in the mail along with a whole bag of beautiful little white chocolate bunnies. Thank you so much, so much. Now, there's, I put all the slimline cards together uh, just so that everyone could see what, uh, what you've been up to, which I think is really kind of fun. Now, Susan Edmondson, she made this screen, Easter screen, so pretty. Look at that, uh, inspired by our finishing school class, right, Susan? Uh, it was really fun. We did a Hanoka screen, and she is loving playing with the vignette dies. So thank you for your letter, and thank you for your encouragement of all that we're doing. So really nice of you. Now, this slim line is from is Carol's, and Miss Carol writes, Fan Mail Friday has become her favorite. It is wonderful, and to see the beautiful creations that are made with the products, and she can't thank the crafting community enough. Uh, everything is so great. So that's good. That's a nice big um, check of validation for what we're doing here uh, as Fan Mail Friday. Now, Myrna, okay, Myrna has made a beautiful Easter card as well, and there's a lovely little letter, and she wants this paper or this folder, um, again, this paper again, and she is, aw, she's, she, she is connected to me. That's so nice. We do, we connect through letters and sharing ourselves, and this is one way I get to share myself with you and because I can just talk, and I don't have to worry about the time or the television or, or really anything. I can just be with you and your creations, and it's just it's quite a gift. So, Myrna, thanks for reminding me about that. And Miss Diane, uh, she made a rocking Easter card. Look at this. I'll put it down, and hopefully you can see it. Yes, you can. Uh, Diane, I have to get it opened up a little bit so it'll rock away. Look at that. Oh, so cute. And uh, I love that you had, you have two cards in Fan Mail Friday today, Diane. I didn't put them together, so sorry. We'll be, sh we'll be showing your beautiful work just again and your um, excellent <laughs> letters. Oh, so cute. Okay, big shout out for Happy Easter to you and Patrick. Now, this card is from Miss Penny, and Penny, just, you're so sweet because when you write to me, I just, you know, it's funny, you're one of the first callers I remember on HSN, always calling in during the shows, and you, you're Penny the Poet, you know, forever for me, but then she writes to me that thank you also so much for the beautiful box of crafts for National Craft Month. 
and she loved the challenge. And she says, this is something that is really special to me. Many times we don't say loving things to the people who mean the most, and it was so nice to do that. And so she did that all month long. My dad always has said, you know, you need to send people their flowers while they are living. And that goes along with this, so saying things that, loving things to people on a daily basis. Happened for National Craft Month here, but uh, I want to say that hopefully we'll all keep that up. Let's keep doing that. Yes, ma'am. Oh, all right, Miss Agnes, she made a pretty shutter card. Look at that with the tulips on the front and, and ta-da, spring blessings to me. All beautifully done. Agnes, I hope you're doing well. I know um, when we heard from you last year, we were having some challenges, and I hope that everything's worked itself out. Uh, now, this, uh, this pretty card's from Roberta, and she's been using Salon Nouveau. And look at that, so beautiful, blessings for Easter. And we have Easter egg jacket dies from Laura, and Laura's been busy too. She, she won during National Craft Month as well. I just think that's so fun. There's Easter eggs and Easter eggs and more. Look, one more. Uh, this is from Evelyn, and what's really fun about this is that she wrote her message on the back of the egg. And when I saw that, I thought, that's such a clever way to do that. You didn't have to do it in the card part. You just put it on the back of the egg, and so happy Easter to you, too. That's so cute. All right, now this one, this card is from Anna, to, it's from Anna to Anna, and I'm going to open it, and the little bunnies are going to spin, and these little bunnies are so, so cute, they, I mean, just adorable, and it says, it's Anna Smith, and so it says that the, um, there's a photo credit, Rabbit Pictures by Joanne and Pete. <laughs> I love it. Big shout out to Joanne and Pete, and happy Easter to you, Miss Ann. It's, oh, you're Ann, and I'm Anna. I see. You do your, your E, yes, you do your E that looks like an A, and I do my A that looks like an E, if you see my signature. That's really kind of fun. So, so from Ann to Anna, I appreciate it. Now, there's another little bunny right here, all on the front of the card. So pretty happy Easter and absolutely beautiful. This is from Kathy. And just look, she made little ornaments to go with the card. So pretty in a little pocket uh, on the inside. You guys are really inspiring me today to make things differently than I think, you know, I probably would start out creating something and then, wow, just make a little pocket of Easter eggs. Adorable. Now, Debbie sent me two cards, and this is so pretty. I think this is just um, a scrumptious pink little confection, Fabergé-inspired egg. And look, even on the inside, it's all there's little rabbit in with the flowers. Debbie, you're using some of the very first papers we ever made for scrapbooking, and I love seeing it. And then she made a second card for the staff here at Anna Griffin. This is so pretty. I love the very first jacket card, dies with the egg on top. And she says that she don't, doesn't want everybody here to be forgotten. And, uh, and well, that's not how she put it, but she wants to make sure that we're spre I'm spreading the excellent cards and letting everybody know how much she appreciates what they do for her behind the scenes. Got it. Okay. Thank you so much. And I will make sure to put that in the kitchen so everybody sees it. Okay. And uh, I have, oh, this is, this is fun because Cindy by the Sea, <laughs> Cindy, you know who I'm talking about, Cindy in, in Virginia Beach, is always making snow globe cards for other occasions. And I think that's just adorable. So we have an Easter card snow globe. So cute. So, so fun. Cindy. Cindy says, number four, April Easter, hope you're doing well and very excited for Create Crop at Home. <laughs> it's coming up. Oh, my gosh, April 1st. And it was, let's see, we've, we're April 2nd. So that means we are, wow, May 2nd. We will have completed Anna Griffin Create Crop at Home. So, wow, 
that's hard to think about 30 days from now we will have done that amazing event. So I hope you're going to join us, and uh, there are going to be tickets uh, are still on sale on HSN on April 13th if you would like to participate. All right, now Karen Beatrice, look at this beautiful church easel card made into a die cut and um, Easter blessings on the inside. I bet you made hundreds of those, didn't you, Karen Beatrice, because that's what you do. You make lots and lots of cards <laughs> on the train. Uh, all right, now Lynn sends us this adorable little Easter bunny card, and she says how much she loves these little bunnies. And look at all those fun springtime die cuts. That's just lovely. And you coordinate it with your big fat envelope. Now, I saw in here somewhere a request for those big fat envelopes to come back, and they are making their debut, well, a new kind, a box card envelope is coming in June. So all for every day. Okay, now here's Diane's second card, and it's a doozy. Ah, look at that. Isn't that fun? Now, what she has done, look at what Diane has done. She's used the intricate pop-out dies, and then she's used all the Blama card-making kit de details, and that's from our Jessica Swift collection from way, way back. This came to Diane in her National Craft Month box, which she won, and she talks about how I love it. It says, I won, it arrived, and there are 18 different items, some partial, some brand new, some oldies, but goodies, and all absolutely fantastic. And that's what's really fun about what we did for National Craft Month. Yes, those boxes were full of things that I have pulled out of our archive and... I just thought it would be more fun living with you than it was living with me. And I've got way more where that came from. And I'm just trying to figure out how to create the right contest for people to win things that I may think, you know, need to be disposed of. But they're good, viable crafts. And there's so many of them here in this giant warehouse that we have. So... I'm, I'm percolating. That's what you can do in the comments below for Fan Mail Friday. Put what you'd like to, what kind of contest would you like to participate in to win some of my fabulous oldies but goodies? Okay. All right. Now, I got to hear from Sylvie and Ernie today, and look at this gorgeous easel card. It's a double easel that we have a little bunny in front, and so, so pretty. And that, it was Sylvie that asked for bring back those extra thick envelopes. So I knew it was in here. So Sylvie, yes, I will do that. Now we heard from King Richard. All right, ready. Uh, Easter egg. Look at that. It's just, it's, it, do you see the sparkle? Oh, it's so beautiful. Little Easter eggs at the bottom and the little bunny rabbits and and then he wrote me a little note about how this, I, I have to put it, Richard, I have to put it on the table. When you, when you stand the easel, he put foam adhesive on the back of the bottom of it so that it all stood properly. I think that's so that you could, I could admire the facets and all the pretty sparkles. And look, this is the little card that came in the back, and it's just so, so pretty. Wishing you all the happiness in the world, Mr. Richard. I have, I, I've thought of you often uh, over the last few weeks. And so, oh, all right, now this is the next one. I don't, I don't remember hearing from Cindy before, but Cindy wrote us a letter about her mom. And I'm, let me show you, and it's, it's Deanne, right? Yes, Deanna. All right, this is Cindy's mom, and Cindy with an S. Cindy's mom showing off her cards, right? And you, I opened this and I thought, oh, how fun. She sent, me, she sent me some beautiful photographs and she sent me this gorgeous card. And I'll show you that. It's beautiful. But I want to read you the letter because I think it's just amazing. My 83-year-old mom is absolutely my biggest inspiration. And I started making cards a couple of years ago when my friend Rochelle gave me my first die-cutting machine and, I, and, she, and bought me the big birthday box. Fast forward, she would show her mom every card she made. And there, her mom is losing her eyesight, and there isn't much that she can do. So she lent her a die-cutting machine and some of our products. To make a long story short, it's just a miracle. She's able to cut and design the most beautiful cards without being able to really see. She can't watch TV. She can't drive. 
Whew, all these things. Everyone's so amazed because she can't read, write, drive, or even watch TV, but her friends, but she can turn out so many beautiful cards, send them to her friends and her family. It has to be a miracle. It gives her something to look forward to each day, and she's even taken over her husband's office as a craft room. I just love this, Cindy. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And, you know, I think, yes, finding something that you can do when you think you can't do anything is just, gosh, it's just so empowering to all of us. And, and thank you for sharing that. And, and Deanna, we're big, big hug to you. Uh, this next card is, is from Valerie, and there's also a beautiful letter that accompanied this card. This is the first card that Valerie ma made with her Cricut, and you see all the cuts and the butterflies, and uh, she even made the envelope, see, two-piece envelope and decorated. Now, Valerie, I had so much fun reading your letter. I had to get out my um, reading glasses so that I could get a, a real look at it, but you and I have so much in common. Valerie can seat 75 people for dinner, which is amazing in her house. She loves antique linens, and she loves all these amazing things that I love. And yes, we have so much in common. And thank you for that, and thank you for sending this to me. And uh, I look forward to getting to know you better. And speaking of antiques, I have a gorgeous card from Sharon. And look at this. So it is a, a, an easel card, a balloon easel card with the pretty damask paper on the back, but look at that. The grand borders are holding the envelope, and then the letter is so great, and Sharon, I just, you know, think of you often, too, um, you and your little puppy, and look at this, what she sent me. She sent me the antique candle. The, the, these are the, they hold the branches of your Christmas tree, and the candles sit on the branches, and once upon a time, that you could light them, and she was cleaning out and found them, and, and, and found them in an antique store that she and I both have been to uh, many times. And I just think that's so special. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Now, Irene, Eileen, this is Eileen. Look at these. Eileen made these adorable hats, and uh, we, we, we decided that this one was the cutest. I hope you can see it. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. There is, um, Eileen has peacocks in her yard. This feather came from one of them, and she lives in California. And she even included the little cup that she used to form the shape of the hat. Now, this is clever beyond measure. I just can't even figure out how you would even come up with making me a little headband hat. and and using your peacock feather from the garden. Oh, enjoy them. I will, and everyone here is going to enjoy them. We're gonna have to take some pictures of these and maybe wear them around for fun. This, this could be the birthday hat in the office. What do you think? Good idea. Okay, talking to myself, right? <laughs> oh, let's go right here to something that is also very special. And this is from Rosa and her mom, Shelly, and it's Georgie and Duke. And I just think what's so amazing about this paper crafting is one, that Rosa made uh, a dress card, of me in a dress that I wore to a fancy event, and I couldn't believe it was made out of paper. And then, maybe four years later, Shelly, Shelly Fontana says to me something about that card and Rosa, and I had never put the two of them together until we were together at Create. I, like, it just blows my mind every day, and to, to see this as a gift from the two of you is so special. So um, thank you, and I'm going to go put this in my office so that I can look at it and admire this amazing work of art and, uh, and such a special friendship that I have with both of you. Oh, so nice. Okay, and... You know, you just have to let all this greatness in. Okay, Miss Peggy makes us a slimline Easter uh, hello friend and just a note to say thank you for all the things you design that make life easier. And look at that, all done with the beautiful flower dyes, the mini flower dyes. You'll be excited to know that we just finished a brand new set of those for um, coming up this summer and teeny tiny little new flowers. 
And last but not least, we have Terry and Terry's card, so beautiful, the little rabbits on the maypole and a gorgeous letter. And she is thanking us for National Craft Month as well. And how uh, she had so much fun participating, reading the daily entries, which that was what our very favorite part, and cheering everyone on. It was enormously rewarding to me personally, and I met new friends, recalled precious memories, and realized just how much I'm blessed by the people in my life. Now, Terry, that sums it up completely up the whole national craft month she sent me chocolate little peter rabbit chocolate and then i just have to show you the cutest thing i have ever seen look at that a little little rabbit with a butterfly and little chocolate balls i, I love those little malted balls for easter and i just think that you you summed up what we've all spent the last 31 days doing and thinking about and what a beautiful tribute to the people in our lives and thank you so much for participating thank you for sharing yourselves we loved the pictures of looking at you and we just every bit of it was a treat for one and all and i just want to say um, thank you, Terry, and thank you for everybody that participated, and thanks to everyone who sent beautiful Easter greetings, and um, we'll see you again next week, and thank you so much. Bye for now.